Alright y'all, my name is Reggie Um, We're going to be cutting a 55 gallon black steel drum today with a sawzall. Okay, I have a battery pack one here, chargeable battery. I um, also have an electric one too that I'll be showing you as well today. Um, so, this one here has definitely got a lot more power. But, I mean, if you really need to, and this is all you have at the time, this will get the job done. Um, however, this is probably, probably, it's going to be a little more easier on you, I'll tell you that. Probably be a lot easier on you, but I'm, I'm going to show you both, though. So, uh, come back over here. Alright, so um, what I've actually done is, I've actually already started my cut, because I didn't want to make this video too long. So, um, I'm just going to put my blade in here first. The first, the, like, the first thing that you want to do, like... When you're first making that original cut, you see how I scraped back some of the uh, paint there and stuff and kind of made a rough area? Because the thing about these steel drums is once, once you go to start cutting it, <clears throat> the blade's going to move around on you a lot. So you really have to have control of your blade. And please, please make sure that your blade is locked in good. Please make sure that your blade is locked in good because that will be a problem for you and anybody around if that blade comes flying off of there at any point in time okay that's very dangerous so make sure that that is locked in give it a couple of tugs and um check your battery it's good power all right now um, this isn't appropriate um measures but um i do have something protecting my eyes i mean you really should be wearing safety glasses but as you can see i'm cleaning out my garage here and i haven't found my safety glasses right now so i'm just going to use whatever i can right now just to protect my eyes from the metal shreddings that are going to be coming out of here because there will be metal shreddings popping out of there and stuff so you definitely want to make sure that you protect your eyes all right um i suggest you use something other than guest glasses but uh that's what i'm using today all right so now <clears throat> first step i'm going to do is when i'm continuing my cut after i've got my cut started um, you're going to put your blade in halfway, maybe three quarters of a way. Okay, you're going to insert your blade and then you're going to make sure you got a nice good grip. Nice good grip. Release your safety. Watch your blade. inches at a time maybe maybe anywhere from four to maybe nine or ten inches or so I don't really try to cut the entire thing in, in one jab I mean your blade's gonna get hot for one and that can get dangerous because it could, it could wiggle out loose or something you know just just anything could happen so I, I I usually try to keep my cuts down to a minimum all right so I'm just gonna readjust my barrel here <clears throat> this is the angle that I like to start out on I like to start like this because I have a good full grip on it and just in case anything happens to my blade, it's going to go that way, hopefully. And no one else is in that area of me. So I'm just going to insert my blade again. About three quarters of a way. Make sure I got a nice stance. Blade's nice and loose so that it doesn't feel stuck on anything. All right. Release my safety. same thing now as you can see here I'm actually I'm actually just about two feet from my finish from where I started out at so I'm actually doing pretty good this all together right now what I've been doing is probably has been a around about maybe 10 minutes or so worth of worth of cutting so maybe 15 minutes worth of cutting and you'll have yourself a nice burn barrel here I'm gonna reinsert my blade Things kind of hard to get in there sometimes. Kind of have to play with it. Maybe that's not a good spot. Let me adjust. There we go. That's a good spot. All right. I want to check and make sure your blade's nice and nice and kind of loose. Messing around in there. All right. We're gonna start. Time. Very 
can get there. Yeah, I got about a good foot and a couple of inches left. All right. I'm going to try to keep going. Find a nice soft spot. There we go. Three quarters of the way in. Working at that angle that I just was in, it's just I'm just trying to get done. That's all. That was kind of not the safest way to do it. I'd rather have better control of it from this angle, just to keep, you know, as I was saying before about the blade popping or anything like that. You know, you always want to be able to good angle where you can move away from the blade. All right. I'm gonna have. I was gonna be a little off, but it doesn't matter. It's just a burn drum. So now I've got to kind of concentrate on working my way back to this area here. All right, so blade in, three quarters, release the safety. Bam! And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Nice, beautiful, cleaned up black steel drum. All right. Um, like, comment, share. Um, if you have any tips for me, leave them in the comments. Um, once again, my name is Reggie. Oh shit, I didn't do the um the electric. I will maybe you'll catch that on the next video. Whatever, I'll show you another clip of that. I got a few more steel drums I've got to cut, so maybe I'll just do a video dedicated to the um electric shows off. But um, thank you for watching. I'll holler.